Welcome, boys and ghouls, to another installment of Monster Mike's Mayhem. In this spotlight video, I would like to talk about George A. Romero's 1978 cult classic, Dawn of the Dead. I would like to spotlight a Pacific action figures from the line that came out in 1999. These came all the way from Japan in 99. These are 23 years old in 2023. There is Ballhead Zombie, Cult Cinema Collection Zombie Dawn of the Dead. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. You moving along, we've got Machete, which is Tom Savaney. He played that character, the motorcycle uh, punk that was driving around inside the mall, and he gets he beats his end by getting thrown over the railing of the balcony. If you guys ever seen the movie, check it out. It is a sweet film from the late 70s. And moving along, we got Steven, which they also call Flyboy. He was really cool in the film. He gets shot in the elevator. Uh, spoiler alert, he's been, he was shot, turns into a zombie in J.C. Penney's elevator shaft. Um, and over here, this is a very unusual character because NECA and them never made this action figure. This is Machete Head. And it's funny, um, the actor, I've met him at local conventions and stuff over the years. Um, they never made an actual official character of him until this line from Japan made this. Now, that slogan, that zombie, Dawn of the Dead, that's actually an Italian uh, version of the film. That's how they put it out in Italy uh, back in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, it was an interesting story. Um, um, uh he, uh, uh, George A. Romero, had um, met with Dario Argento in the in, around that time, and they collaborated and made uh, ported that over to Italy to be, um, you know, distributed in Italy, and that was what it was called was Zombie Dawn of the Dead, and uh, on the. Box sets, uh, they have the European cut with goblin music in it that's totally different from the American release. So if you guys get a chance to pick that box set up, check it out. In front of me here is a 2006 Hamilton um, Halloween uh, decor. It's the Monroeville Mall. Um, as seen in 1978's Dawn of the Dead, this is a rare piece from Hamilton back in 2006. It's officially like, I don't know, 19 years old now or something. Um, I picked mine up for $200. It has no box. It has the instruction booklet and stuff, though. Um, they go anywhere from, you know, broken, some pieces missing from $200 all the way up to $500 uh, in the secondary eBay market. I suggest if you guys see this video and like it, I would definitely check out eBay for these. They come up every once in a while on eBay. They're very, very cool pieces. Um, I personally like them all. Um, I see this at a convention last year in 2022 at Days of the Dead. And I picked this up for 200 like I said. And um, there's a Harry Krishna zombie sitting up by the door. There's a dead chick in a nightgown laying there dead. Um, over here is a guy leaning up uh, against a old um, J.C. Penney exit post. And there is the old um, uh, signal lamps they would have at the parking lot with uh, like F4 and stuff, you know, to see where you parked at. And you got the famous scene up here with the uh, um, news chopper. Um, and that was uh, Flyboy's helicopter he flew in the film in 1978. And it's gold and everything. And you can see the, um, 
the uh, old uh, dome is lit up, and that's the glass dome that um, Ken Forhees' uh, character um, uh, kicked the glass in, and they climbed down inside the mall and found um, an area to stow away and kind of chill out. Uh, civil defense boxes they used to eat and stuff, and they also used the barricade against the Harry Christian zombie in the film. Again, if you guys have never seen Dawn of the Dead, check it out. It's a must-see in any horror uh, fanatics uh, category. Um, we got the zombie here at the top that um, he... Uh, I don't know exactly his nickname, but I think it's, um, it's like a... a I, I swear I completely forgot his name. Um, the, the zombie that uh, gets the top of his head cut off. They have a name for him, but I don't know. I think it's Helicopter Zombie or something, some generic name like that or something. He climbs up on a boxes and is going into the airport to attack. Um, and actually, he's uh, pumping gas. And I guess while he's pumping the gas, um, I guess... Um, uh, he looks over and sees, um, um, I guess, uh, the zombie, and as he gets ready to pull his gun out and fires on him, he actually raises his head and hit the helicopter blaze and it chops the top of his head off. And that was actually done by Tom Savini by putting a wire around the piece of flesh, fleshy toned scalp on the actor, and he pulled it away as really fast, as like almost like a ripcord, and it ranked janked his whole scalp off. That was done by Tom Zavini, the famous Tom Zavini. So if you guys get a chance, please, if you like these videos, like and subscribe. And until next time, stay tuned and get monster -fied.